So I had some really good whitetail luck the other day over on Logger's Point, and I wanted to start this video with that. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in Hunter Classic in almost 10 years of play. A melanistic whitetail buck, he's not huge, but he's actually decent, like 110 to 130. A lot of my whitetail rares have been like 50 scoring, so the fact that he actually looks good, I'm just happy about that, but I was just laying here, and I shot a buck pretty much the exact same size, like right here in front of us. And I looked up and I thought there was a mule deer coming in, which mule deer will hang out around the center tower. I'm up here, like right in the middle of the map right now. And then when I got my optics on it, I was just so stoked. I've killed at least one melanistic whitetail, but it was a doe. Maybe two, but never a buck. And I'm still kind of on the search for a 200 scoring typical. Um, the only one I've ever, like seen shot and been there for was on Logger's Point and my biggest uh, personally was 199 also on Logger's Point so that's kind of why I'm here but I won't say this is better but it's dang close to being at least as good and it's kind of early morning so I wish it was a little bit like later in the day so it'd be lighter out for a cooler trophy shot but the cool thing is we're very much out in the open. There shouldn't be any shadows on him as long as we can make a good shot. And hopefully nothing goes wrong here, but he's kind of hiding. There he is. I'm just happy like he's even like a good looking buck. I do wish he was bigger, but really, like I said, he's not a 50 scoring one. And I'm just happy about that. So we're going to have to move over here a little bit. That's so cool. Do I have normal binoculars by chance? I do. I carry these a lot just so I can like have them for stuff like this to get a better like unobstructed view. That's so cool. I'm so glad I decided to come to this center tower. This It's not what I was going to do and I'll show you what I was going to do in just a second but you know he chose to come in pretty much the worst spot possible to try to get a good screenshot but maybe we can make this work. We'll get drawn back so when he sees us, we can just get him or maybe just shoot him on the walk. So not a ton of sunlight. I think we can make it work like up here and I'll claim him from this side just to have as much room as possible, but that's one of my favorite kills ever in the Hunter Classic. Double lung liver at 13 meters, melanistic, 120.5. Like I said, not huge, but plenty for, honestly, my first melanistic whitetail in, I don't know, four years and first melanistic whitetail buck ever. That's so cool. I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to get a good uh, trophy shot of this. I think this is what I want to go with. It's the best I could do to get him in the sunlight, do the deer hunter pose, and have as much of the deer and, like, the the sun hitting it and not too much shadows on his face or anything. I think that looks really, really nice. So we're going to go with that. I don't like filtering them, by the way. I like just the normal light and absolutely going to taxidermize that. So there's a doe that is snuck in here. So we'll go ahead and get that just so we don't spook her and have her spook other things. But actually what I had planned on doing was fast traveling down to my tripod right here and just sitting there and calling and seeing what comes in because... I mentioned thinking that Whitetail was a mule deer. That area down there has a lot more mule deer, just a little bit south of here. And I'm just so glad that's not what I chose to do. That's such a cool kill. Okay, so I fast traveled to the uh, area I was talking about at this tripod, and there's actually a big buck here, 175 to 200. The best buck I have in my trophy lodge is 185. So basically in the last like three years, that's as good as I've done. I think there's a chance this guy could be bigger, but I'm not really sure. I need to see, like, how wide he is. He's got a good spread. I would not be shocked if this is the biggest whitetail typical I've shot in years. And if you notice the weight, he's up to 85 kilos, which is very low. Like, I could easily pick up that track and just ignore it. So, go figure. But, uh, that's been the theme of the day I recorded the uh, Timbergold Trails video where we shot the mule deer and stuff earlier today and the mule deer bucks I was shooting were quite low weight for the scores they had. 
but I'm just looking like all of his tines look good. He's got really good length all the way out to like his G6s would those be? There's too many tines for me to count, but I'm actually hopeful. He just wants to stand there and not come in. But I, I think there's a chance anyway. Honestly, he's well within range. Just wanted to stop because I just got here. And I mean, as much as this is probably the best kill that I'll get, Considering one of the first things I found is a melanistic whitetail, I don't want to be spooking other things that are around, so let's go ahead. Drop him there. And I don't think there's anything else sneaking in on me, so I'll take a look at what this guy actually is. I'm hoping he's actually good, but it's so hard to tell. Like, when you're looking at 8x8, like, are all the tines even? How many deductions are in there? Is it enough to maybe reach, like, 190? I don't know. I think there's a chance. This is a look I've seen like a lot of 190s deer screenshotted and they look a lot like this. So I'm crossing my fingers. 84 kilos, 186. All right, well, he is better than the one I have in my trophy lodge by one. So uh, I do suppose this will be a second new addition from this hunt. I actually really like how this turned out. I had the random idea to lean the bow against this rock wall over here. And I think that looks pretty cool. It's kind of natural how, like, he's just actually laying there. I'm not holding him up or he's not being, like, held up by the imaginary forces that trophy shots have. But if I can get this back in close like that, I think this is what I'm going to go with. I kind of wish, like, my character would stand up more. But that's what the uh, serene pose looks like. So two trophy lodge additions from the same hunt. Like, what? I am less than half hour in? So, probably 20 minutes apart since uh, I'd hunted a bit before we killed the Melanistic. That's just crazy. So yeah, uh, after that I stayed on the map for a while, and I didn't really see anything all that special. But I forgot to go back to the Trophy Lodge, and I had thought maybe I would just make the video out of those two kills, but at this point, since I had to start another game anyway, I thought we would go for a little whitetail hunt here on Whiteheart Island and see if we can add anything to that. And we got a buck renting over by the tower. I don't think I'll try to get in the tower, just because... Most likely that I'll spook him, so we'll probably just sit here and call. we we'll get this little bit of a hill we can kind of have a sight vantage point from, but... Yeah, like I was saying, I had a game to start anyway. I thought we'd see if we can add anything to it before we head to the lodge. That doesn't quite live up to the standards set by the first two kills in this video, but... I guess we'll get him and move to the tower anyway. I do like using the pulsar over the... Uh, what's it even called? The dragon something the red dragon the other bow just because you can knock that arrow and then when you stand up from prone you don't have to stick it back on the bowstring which is quite nice makes it a little easier for getting those closer shots but heart shot on the giant 56 scoring whitetail they always seem to come in from back here and we're gonna have to drop this doe because we did get a buck that just grunted like out across the field and we can't really have this doe spooking towards him so we'll see if we can maybe drop her, or at least shoot her and uh, get her to turn and run, but luckily we're not going to have to track anything. And he grunted like in the opening over by those big trees, so somewhere like not too far out of view right up in there. So hopefully he can at least show himself and we can see what we're looking at. And maybe he'll be a little more interesting than the last one. You know, somehow... It seems like every time I make a video and hunt from this tower, the deer that we find are just almost impressively sad. We're just going to use the 308 pistol because I want to fast travel anyway. But I've killed like a ton of nice deer from here. I remember having a non-typical coming like down actually where this doe came from, turning back, going to the tower and shooting another non-typical that came in from the other way. I've shot like 180s, but every time I make a video from here, they always score like 50 or, you know, 58 in this case. At least we're improving, I guess. But again, uh, given the standards that were kind of set at the beginning of this video, that's pretty sad. But we're going to go here. Another pretty good whitetail spot, and sometimes there are elk and often bobcat as well. So we'll see if anything more interesting wants to show up. So we're going to have another doe that we have to get out of our way. But the other tower had nothing. Just the cow elk and there was a doe out in the field. But, um... We just had another grunt. I'm heading up this way. And I actually have a deployable tower set up here, so we're just going to sit in there. And kind of had the dough in our way, but should be fine to get in there and 
have the buck still coming in. This must be what it looks like when you cash in all of your whitetail luck in a single hunt. Like, three of these just absolutely pathetic whitetail bucks. The only three, like, I haven't had any other tracks, I haven't had any other grunts. It's been these three. And they're all just at least equally sad. Maybe this guy will somehow improve on the 58 we had. And we're moving in the right direction, but I don't even know about that. Let me stop right there for us. At least we haven't had to track them. That would make it basically insult to injury at this point. But there was that track that I wanted to get. And of course it's a doze, so not much to worry about there. But are we at least improving the score somehow? Yeah, I didn't think we would. Alright, well, this isn't the direction I usually go. I usually go up towards that tent there, but I'm going to go back and around just to see if that yields anything different and... I mean, probably it can do better than we've done so far, because it's hard to do a whole lot worse. I don't know where they're at, but there were two other elk that bugled. And it doesn't seem like they came along with this guy, so they might be in a different herd. But honestly, I feel like they just didn't come in. Because I think I should have seen them by now. They weren't that far away. And I'm really not sure if I should move forward. I guess I will. Because they were a little further, like, up in the same direction. Somewhere maybe, like, up in there. So, I guess we'll go take a look and see if we can figure out where they went. I'm almost sure they didn't spook. I think they just maybe trotted away or whatever. So, let's see if we can find tracks or just get them to bugle back at us. Oh, I hear footsteps. Maybe they were coming in. At this point, I feel like we have to go up the hill and try to get to where we can see them. Because trying to go backwards, I don't think is going to work. So I probably had to shoot that other one. That is pathetic. Oh, that's a good one, though. We're just going to have to go for this. I think that's our only choice. Nice. All right. We got the hard shot. We're pretty much actually ready to wrap this hunt up. So I don't mind too much actually using the gun. Really, uh, at this point, I was just hunting until we could fast travel back to the lodge. Because we still have those deer to throw in the trophy lodge, but that's a decent uh, 291 elk anyway. Not quite what I thought he was, but not bad. I still think we must have traded in all of our whitetail luck, because our first herd of elk, we actually had a decent one in there. But I'm not sure what to replace. We have the melanistic blacktail down there. The only rare mule deer is there, and we have piebald whitetail, but I kind of want to keep that. So I guess... Man. Okay, I know what we'll do. We'll take the albino moose down and put the piebald rocky there, which is probably going to take a while to find because I shot that a long time ago. And then at least we get to put the melanistic right here in the middle, which, to be honest, I just think it's cooler than the piebald elk. You can barely see the piebald, unfortunately, but you can see it some, and I think I got him in the pose where you can see it most. But what did this guy actually score? Shot him like a day ago, so I forget. He's 120, and the piebald is 116, so... At least it's like a bigger rare. And honestly, this rare's lodge is really looking good, but we have to go in the other lodge then for the 186 that we shot. And this guy, like I said at the time, is not a huge improvement, just actually not even a full one inch uh, higher scoring. The 185 is 185.9 something, so a little bit of an improvement. He doesn't have any stickers, whereas the other one did, so nicer looking antlers anyway. And yeah. I shot that, I just looked, April 2nd of 2018, so over two years ago. Over two years I had the same buck just hanging in this trophy lodge, so making an improvement of any kind is actually nice, but yeah. Um, as far as the rest of the hunt went, bit of a failure. The elk was nice at the end, but we definitely had two of my better kills recently uh, for the beginning of this, and I'm pretty happy with that. The melanistic especially, I thought that was really cool. I've never had a melanistic whitetail buck in just about ten years of playing, so it was cool to finally get one, but yeah. That's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.